Page One Curator is a tool that enables you to create dynamic and interesting posts using the method of curation and post and will publish those articles out to um, all your blogs within um, you know, your network. It supports WordPress and um, it's integrated with WordPress so all you do is create your posts here and click publish and off it goes. Let me just show you an example. So I'm just going to create uh, a post around uh, SEO tools. And um, the best thing about curation is um, you should always introduce a topic with your own perspective or your own voice on something. Um, so I've literally just typed this paragraph here. Um, and what I'm going to do is just find uh, some content. So um, what you can do is search over a whole variety of feeds. Um, I've included uh, as a bonus a huge selection here. Um, and I'm going to search for um, SEO um, over internet and technology. And it will go out then and pull in all the feeds within that category and look for that word SEO and what I'm hoping to find here is maybe something to do with SEO tools okay there we go um, so I'll just flag that if I click on the more button here then it will open up that web page in, in the application so I can actually then search for what sort of content would be interesting for my readers and if I go down uh, let's have a look what I can do is actually just grab highlight that content um, and grab that and then just while I'm here I'll just see if there's any secondary um, articles that might be interesting um, so maybe what I'll do is I'll just grab that link so I won't take the text I'll just grab that link and um, for the sake of argument let's grab that one and that one okay so I've grabbed three what's called secondary um, articles to do with SEO and I've specifically selected one primary to do with um, SEO tools so then I literally then click use selected articles and it pastes everything into my editor here so um, first of all to note that at the end of anything that I paste in uh, automatically curator puts in uh, a direct reference to the source of the article so it's really important in curation that you reference where you've got the content from and it's also important that you don't grab the whole article you know grab a piece of it or you know a slice of it so that it, it generates some user interest but also encourages them to click through and go and look at the source article because then you're passing the goodwill you know um, and the the interest of your reader through to the source of where you got the content from and I remember I highlighted those three uh, references um, all I need to do to grab those is I click this button here called insert more reading and that takes those links that um, I highlighted and pulls them in so then what I might do is just clean up this article a little bit um, and introduce it uh, a little bit better so there we go uh, what I might do is take out that um, and you know there's a lot of bolding here um, and what I can do within the editor is actually just clean that up a bit there we go just strip that out and um, and just for the sake of this demo let me just show you some other things you can do let's grab a, a video so I literally click on videos here and I click on SEO and this will search over YouTube and it will sort the result by published or the relevance to the keyword or how many times people are viewing it or how many times people have rated it so for now I'll just leave it on relevance and just click search um, and let's just find any sort of video so what, what comes back is a, um, a thumbnail and if you click on the thumbnail then it opens the actual video 
in a preview window so you can actually just watch it to see whether whether it's interesting or not. Let's assume for the sake of argument this one is. Then I just highlight that and click use selected video and it goes straight into the post. And um, then lastly I think what I'll do is I'll just jazz it up with maybe an image. Um, so again I can just select images here, click on search and click on SEO. This will search over the Flickr database um, and it will only search over the Creative Commons database. Creative Commons means that you, you are more or less um, free to use these uh, images as long as you provide the correct attribution back to the image. Um, an attribution can mean um, normally referencing the author or the um, photographer in, in this case. So in fact rather than, rather than just SEO I might try something a bit more useful like infographic. Let's see if I can find an infographic. Okay. So there's a, a funny one there. Whenever beer and SEO come together that would be a wonderful day. So click use selected image so that you can see that image has got in. I am um, the correct captioning has gone in as well and there is a link behind this image to the author. So when that gets published it will go out straight away um, with the correct attributions embedded in the post. Um, what you can also do is actually search over the Twitter timeline as well. Um, so by clicking on um, Twitter, clicking on search, then I can search by just by keyword or I can even search across a hashtag. And you know in come all the tweets and again you can um, either insert just the actual tweet itself okay um, and you do that literally by clicking on that um, if there's a link embedded in the tweet then um, there'll be a drop list here showing all the links and again if you click on the link then it will open up the the website that that link goes to and funnily enough it's exactly the same um, article that I've already got so I won't grab that right now but um, all you'd need to do is click on use again and it puts the the full tweet in the bottom in the article here and it puts some text here to remind you that you shouldn't really leave the tweet just as that and you should type um, a summary of the post. So finally what you can do with all that is you can preview it straight away in your in your browser window which is built into the app just to check that you've got everything there the format and layout might be slightly different because it depends on the style in your blog um, but let's assume you're happy with that then you literally select the blog that you want to go to um, select the category for the blog so let's find SEO you can schedule your post or you can even backdate your post um, or you know you can create uh, or curate you know like 20 posts in one sitting and schedule them all out to go to a certain blog and um, then you just literally click on publish and it goes out to your blog um, together with the date whether it's on the home page or not and if you double click on any of these posts then the blog will open and there is the actual post that I've just created and there's the the tweet you can see the tweet follows the standard WordPress um, and Twitter agreed format so that you know you get the nice image and everything correctly laid out so I hope you can see that page one curator is a very powerful tool for curating interesting and dynamic content which published to your blogs will generate users and authority and enable you to completely dominate um, niches and get traffic and obviously monetize. Thanks for watching.